Hey everyone, Mo is going to show us how to navigate through the user admin portion of WebEx Control Hub. Take it away, Mo. In this part of the demo, we are going to look at the user administration portion of the Cisco WebEx Control Hub. To do the user administration, you have to come here to the user section of the WebEx Control Hub. Here you can have, add the users in multiple different ways. We can add users manually, one by one, or multiple users. We can do a bulk add using a CSV file. And also, if we have the directory synchronization enabled, we can provision users uh, from the active directory uh, automatically. Once a user is provisioned, it requires certain services to be turned on for that user. Uh, services like WebEx team messaging, or WebEx meetings or calling. You can set all those in a, a auto assign template to automatically turn on for all the users. For now, we are going to manually add a user. So we're going back here and we click on manually add or modify user. Click next, choose name and email address. We'll give this user a first name, we'll give it a last name and an email address. Here you can click this plus button and add more users here. And you can keep going and add in more users. Once you're done, click next, click next again. Uh, this is where you turn on specific features for this user. So here we're going to add WebEx Teams. We're going to add WebEx Team Meetings, uh, System for Meetings and Enterprise Edition. Uh, here we are going to uh, leave the WebEx calling off for them for the moment and enable the calendar service. When you choose calendar service, uh, you can see what calendar services are activated in this instance. As you can see, we activated the Office 365. So this is the one that we were going to pick and we'll click add user. And now the user is uh, created correctly. Uh, first thing, when you look at the user, there is these three dot buttons um, in the action once you click on it, you can uh, resend the activation email. You can deactivate or delete this user. If you click on a user, uh, you're going to see the user settings. Uh, you can edit those settings or services that have been uh, turned on before. So here you can disable any other services. Or you can come here and add WebEx calling. And whenever you add WebEx calling to a user, it is going to need to have a location. Here we have an uh, SQ, only location we have. And now you can either give this user a, a DID, a, a direct phone number, or provide an extension for the user. I'm going to add an extension here. And the extension is successfully added. And now, one thing uh, that I enabled was the calendar service. This user is not enabled in my Office 365. So you can come here and you can choose um, either a different calendar service that we do not have here or completely disable it for this user. Other settings you can have here, if you come here to the calling section, uh, you can see that you can click on extension, modify the extension if needed, uh, and then turn on specific calling features for this user. The voicemail that is turned on, uh, call forwarding, uh, you can choose to turn this feature for this user. A call waiting, and also you can set a caller ID for the user. Going back to the settings, uh, you can see that uh, you can provide different administration roles to this user and uh, you can modify any of the services like meeting you can go in here and, and choose different settings for the meeting for the user another way to add users is to bulk add multiple users using a csv file you can choose that option uh, you can import a csv file or you can 
export all your users here from um, the list of your users. You can choose your users or organization and click export and get export of your users. This is beneficial if you're moving users from uh, one WebEx control hub instance to another. As you can see, uh, the file is getting created. I'm going to save the file and let's open this file. And as you can see, this file, the CSV file created with all the user in this setup. Setting up an auto assign template allows you to set up specific features to be turned on for all the users. So let's say if we choose specific features to be available for every user we're going to create, and we set this up. Next time we're going to add a user or bulk add a users, then all these automatically will assign to that user. Let's try one more time. Let's create one more user. As you can see, these features are getting automatically assigned to the user.